Hey, hey, welcome back to Mazda Callahan's Word of Advice. And for this Word of Advice video, I kind of wanted to talk about something which came up in the last Word of Advice video, which was having a to-do list. And this is about trying to avoid double booking your schedule. Trying to avoid putting two things on one day which clash with one another. Two events which happen at the same time and, you know, th this is something I wanted to talk about because I know I've done this before and every time that I have double booked my schedule, I have always regretted it. Um, let me start off by sharing an example of when I double booked my schedule and I was kind of sad that I did. I remember three years ago in 2010, I planned first to spend some time with a friend of mine at Kings Island, which is an amusement park in Cincinnati, um, on October 15th, or something like that. It was around his birthday. Let's just say October 15th. I was going to go spend time with my friend at Kings Island, and I had that set up for a while, but... Then come September of 2010 or something like that, at one of the youth groups I used to go to, I signed up for uh, a fall retreat where I spent a whole weekend with some friends in Indiana. And then as that date got closer and closer, I realized, oh shoot, I'm planning to go to a fall retreat and then go to Kings Island with my friend at the same time. And obviously, I cannot do both at the same time. I felt really bad about that, and one of the things I did not do, which could have prevented me from double booking my schedule, is that I did not have a to-do list. And also, I kind of forgot about spending some time with my friend at Kings Island, and overall, I just really, really regretted it, and I'm sure some of you out there watching this have done that before where you double booked your schedule by accident, and when you did, it has not always been a very happy moment when you realized that you did double book your schedule and you'll have to miss out on something that you probably want to go to. What I would recommend to avoid double booking your schedule is definitely pay attention to what you put on your schedule for every month and every week. And also, remember what I said in the previous Word of Advice video. Be sure to have a to-do list and check it every day if you can. I believe if you do this, then you'll be able to manage your schedule better, as I said in the last Word of Advice video, and also if you do check your schedule constantly and you check it for days in the future as well, then you should not double book your schedule. And if you avoid double booking your schedule, then you should feel much happier because then you won't have to say to somebody, I'm sorry, I accidentally scheduled this appointment on the same day as this event, so... I'm going to have to cancel that or cancel this. I believe if we do manage our schedules very well, then we will not have to deal with that situation at all, and hopefully we can find another time to put things on our calendar which is on a different day. And this can happen if we just pay enough attention to our schedule and we avoid double booking our schedule. So with that, I certainly hope what I've had to talk about in this Word of Advice video will come in handy. Remember, do not double book your schedule. I hope what I've had to talk about in this video will come in handy. We'll come back from another Word of Advice video.